Hello there, welcome back to another Obsidian video. It's definitely been a while. A lot of you requested that I make more videos on Obsidian, so here I am. I'm going to be continuing to go deeper into Obsidian, so please let me know if you have anything specific you want me to make a video of. First off, if you haven't watched my student overview video of Obsidian, please click the little eye that pops up on the right hand corner of the screen right now, or check it out in the link in the description. You'll definitely want to get a grip on that one before you come back to this one. So first of all, today I'm going to give you all a bit of a channel update since I'm really planning on giving you more opportunities to have a say in the types of videos I'm creating. If you don't really want to know about all this or you don't really care, go ahead and skip to the timestamp shown here or check the description for details. So if you haven't seen my YouTube post from a little while back, I actually created a poll not long ago asking what app you guys want me to focus my videos on. It's not too late to go vote on that. The poll should still be up on my channel's community tab, so go check that out. I'll be checking those results regularly and we'll probably be conducting a lot more opinion polls to get input from you all in the future. Remnote and Obsidian were the top two apps, but I did get many requests for Notion, Rome, and other apps as well, so don't worry, I'll definitely continue to make videos on those apps for sure in the near future. My current plan is to develop and upload a course essentially for all things Obsidian related. It hasn't gotten much attention, so I think a course would definitely benefit a lot of people. I still haven't worked out all the details yet, but I'll give you all more information on that as soon as possible. For RemNote, I'll listen to video requests and make new videos based on what you guys want to see. I'll also be creating a new series of me reviewing some new apps that I've never used before and give you all a first glance of everything and, of course, my opinions on the apps as well. Also, I'm going to throw in some comparison videos or possibly even a day in the life video or morning and night routine videos if you guys would be interested in seeing those as well. I have a ton of video ideas, so I'm working hard on churning out that content for you all while still staying focused on being a full-time student, of course. I love hearing what you guys have to say, so please do let me know in a comment or a DM on Twitter or Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, I'm going to start posting on Instagram daily with many stories of me studying and exclusive posts of study tips or my setup for the day, so make sure to go follow me to be able to get those tips. Alright, so let's dive into this video now. Today, we're gonna dive into how I personally journal with Obsidian. This video will eventually go into the Obsidian course I mentioned earlier, but it's one that has been requested multiple times, so I'm going to go into this one first. For those of you that don't already keep a journal, I would highly encourage you to do so after watching this video, whether it's in a digital format like on Obsidian or even with the paper diary. It's actually a pretty neat way to keep track of my life, all while making sure that I'm learning from my past experiences. So journaling is obviously a pretty personal topic, so the events I'm typing about in this video won't actually be reflective of what's going on in my own life, I'm just giving you all some inspiration to get started. Everything is definitely modeled after my own system though, so please pull from this as well. The way that I start setting up my daily journal in Obsidian is a quick recap of daily events. I actually used to keep a physical journal and I would pick it up every night before bed to write down some of my thoughts I had for the day. The process on Obsidian is basically the same, except just on my laptop. If you guys have seen my daily planning and Rome research video, you'll be familiar with how I've set up a morning and night template on there. Surprisingly, I actually don't create templates on Obsidian for my journals. The topics I write on fluctuate from day to day, so I've been adjusting the questions for myself depending on what I feel fits best for that specific day. Some examples of my prompts for myself are, what was the best part of today? Did you do anything particularly fun or exciting today? What tasks did you accomplish? How did you work towards a short-term goal? How did you work towards a long-term goal? How did you help or serve others today? How did you grow in your faith today? How did God speak to you today? How did you reach out to friends today? How did you love others today? And other similar reflections. I use these same questions on different days, just switching them up and making new combinations. But I link each question so that I can use them for different days and I can see my responses all at once through the bi-directional linking system of Obsidian. My biggest tip to you all is to reflect on the main events of your day, especially if something stood out to you as really deep or meaningful. Basically, write down anything you know you definitely wouldn't want to forget. 
What's important to me might not be what is important to you, so make sure to reflect on your own life as well instead of pulling from mine only. Journaling definitely takes a lot of self-reflection and thinking. In the end, though, it's extremely beneficial and totally worth it because it allows you to improve and grow yourself as a human being. Your journal should be something that allows you to debate some things with yourself, kind of like an internal conversation. Weighing out some of the pros and cons of making an important decision or just any personal struggles you might be having in life. A lot of the time, taking the time to sort out your thoughts and feelings and just putting them down on paper can really help you relieve a lot of stress. So for today's setup, I'm just gonna go for three simple questions. I typically leave enough room for me to expand on my thoughts so that I get to say everything I need to. So three prompts is definitely more than enough. The first prompt I picked for today is, what was the best part of today? Here, I'm just gonna reflect on my day and explain what happened while trying to get out some of my feelings too. The next one is, what tasks did you accomplish? For this question, I'm just going to go through the most important tasks I completed throughout the day, explaining if I found anything particularly difficult to conquer or if I just had an easy time for everything. This question gives me an opportunity to explain everything I did throughout the day from the simplest to the most complex tasks. Notice here that I'm linking to the page that has already been created for that question. The last prompt for today is, how did you help or serve others today? Here, I'm just going to go through some basic events that happened throughout the day in which I helped someone or did an act of service. Service has always been a huge part of my life and I absolutely love contributing back to the community and it's a really important part of my life. And I'm always a proponent of putting a little more love out there in the world. So it's extremely important for me that I'm always serving others in my daily life. All right. Now, the last section I have for my daily journal is a reflections category. Here, I basically just write down any excess thoughts I had throughout the day, and usually I like to keep this pretty short. It's something that I can look back on as just a recap for the whole day. Or I can add some more things if I felt specifically strongly about anything I didn't mention earlier on. After that, everything is pretty much finished. I don't like making my journals super long or complicated since they're meant to help me wind down for the night and just get ready for a big day the next morning. It's just a little tool to help me get my thoughts down on paper. I'm hoping you all were able to take something from this video and if you did, please let me know by commenting down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, also feel free to ask me or tell me in the comments. Thanks so much for all your support and I'd love to hear what you all think about my new plans for my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already because it really does help to support the growth of the channel and you all truly do mean so much to me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.